The Mini-X product line of NASAs from iX are powerful and flexible storage systems that can run either TrueNAS Core or TrueNAS Scale. In this video, we'll step through the process of migrating a TrueNAS Mini-X Plus from TrueNAS Core to TrueNAS Scale. Ready? Let's get started. Open your browser of choice and head over to the admin website of your TrueNAS Mini-X system. Once logged in, our first stop is a simple health check to check for any alerts that may need to be resolved before we begin the migration process. Our NAS is healthy, but if your NAS has any alerts, take care of those before continuing. We're running TrueNAS Core 13.0 U2. If you're running an older version of TrueNAS Core, we recommend you upgrade first before continuing with the migration process. To start the migration process, we'll navigate to the system information card on the dashboard and click the check for update button towards the bottom. Because we're using the community version of TrueNAS Core, our default train is the TrueNAS Core Community Release Train. To begin the migration process, we need to select the TrueNAS Scale train. Click the down arrow and select TrueNAS Scale Angelfish in the dropdown. Please note, as of the creation of this video, migration from TrueNAS Core to TrueNAS Scale is still in development. And while we've taken all precautions to ensure a smooth migration process, there are some risks to migration. We highly recommend you have backups of your data before continuing. Also, there are key feature differences between Core and Scale that are not compatible with each other and as such, do not transfer as part of the migration process. These features include NIS data, jails and plugins, tunables, system boot environments, Jelly encrypted pools, and AFP shares. We highly recommend you take a moment to read over our Core migration documentation by clicking the link in the dialog box for further information. Let's move on to the next step. Click the Confirm box and then the Continue button. Next step is to click the Download Updates button to begin the download process. We're now given the opportunity to save a copy of the current running configuration of our TrueNAS Core system. Saving this file is helpful if the migration process runs into any issues or you wish to revert back to TrueNAS Core. Along with the running config, we can include the password secret seed. Doing so allows using this configuration file with a new boot device and also allows you to decrypt all passwords currently used on the system. If you choose to include the password secret seed in the config file, you should take extra care in protecting the config file once it's been downloaded. We'll choose Save the Password Seed and click Save Configuration. Once clicked, the config file is downloaded to your local system. Next stop is to download Scale and begin the migration process. We'll go ahead and select the Apply Updates and Reboot System After Downloading checkbox and click Download to begin the download. Alright, the migration process has begun. First step in the process is for TrueNAS to download the TrueNAS Scale Update Package. This can take a while, depending on your internet connection speed. The next step in the process is for the update to extract the freshly downloaded scale update. This can take some time as well, so be patient. Once the extraction process is complete, your Mini-X system will reboot and begin the migration process. This process isn't visible from the web interface and will take a while to complete. Until the process completes, you will not be able to access the web interface for TrueNAS Scale. If you want to check on the progress of the migration, you can connect a monitor to your Mini-X NAS, or if you've set up the IPMI interface, check the web console there. The full migration process took approximately 8 minutes to complete, but your system could take longer or shorter depending on a variety of factors, so be patient and check back. Once the migration process completes, the web browser will refresh and you'll be greeted with the TrueNAS Scale login page. You'll use the same username and password previously used to log into TrueNAS Core as all of the supported configurations have been migrated over. Once logged in, we see the new TrueNAS Scale dashboard. This is a good time to check for any outstanding alerts by clicking the bell in the top right corner. Our system is clear, which is great. If you have any alerts, take a moment to address them. Let's make a few stops to check and make sure our system properly migrated across. Our first stop is to check that our storage pools properly migrated over. We'll click on Storage on the left menu. We can see our single pool, named Tank, was successfully migrated and is up and healthy. Great. Next, we'll check our network shares by navigating over to Shares on the left, and we can see our SMB share is successfully migrated as well. Everything looks great, and we're ready to start enjoying all of the features of scale on the TrueNAS Mini X. As always, thank you for watching, and be sure to check out our website, community forums, and documentation for all your TrueNAS needs.